One of the differences between building products in AI versus traditional software is that you have to account for the difference between probabilistic and deterministic behavior. Let's go to the Morgan Library together while I dive in. So when you build for AI, models are probabilistic in nature. This means that the output from the model is potentially wrong sometimes, and there is some unpredictability there. Think about when you use ChatGPT. The same question doesn't always have the same response. This is pretty different from more traditional deterministic behavior in B2B SaaS, where when you click a button to do something, it does the same thing every time you click it. Let's walk through an example. I use Clay a lot to monitor competitors. I use one of their more traditional B2B SaaS features to track competitor website traffic. That's deterministic. When I ask for website traffic, I get the website traffic back. On the other hand, I also use the Clayagent, their AI agent, to look at websites and categorize them. But sometimes it gets it right and sometimes it gets it wrong. So the output is probabilistic in nature. So when you're building AI products, you have to account for new user expectations, including, but not limited to, how you explain model behavior to customers, if at all, when you want to include a human in the loop or not, and how you want to handle failure states. Are you building an AI and have you observed the same thing? Let me know in the comments. I'm Diana, a startup builder in AI, and I break down tech startups in AI without the hype. Follow for more.